Hi everybody, Christos Anesti. Welcome to this third edition of Kitchen Talk with Father Angelo and Chrissy Tenetieri. All right, so today we're going to take a little side trip away from Greece and we're going to head off to the the Cat, Catalo Cat Catalonia, I believe. Catalonia area of Spain. Now where this one came from is that when I was in the military, Terry and her friends had the opportunity to travel around to some of the different countries when we were living in Germany. So while I was working hard, she went out and went on this trip and was, were able, was able to sample some of the local dishes that were there. And this garbanzos con andui was one of those. And so she brought that back. It's a really refreshing dish, easy to make, and it's great for now coming up for summertime. So I'm gonna have Terry take you through the ingredients. Half an onion, it's been thinly sliced. I have a mixture in this bowl of garlic. I use three cloves because we like garlic. Yes. You can use less if you yes. want, it just depends on you. We have some parsley, two tablespoons chopped. I have some pine nuts or pignola nuts, about a handful. And then lastly, it's golden raisins that I soaked in hot water for 15 minutes. Here I've got garbanzos, or also known as chickpeas. And lastly, I know Father said andouille, it's actually chorizo, but it's, you can use any kind of sausage you want. Why are we using chorizo? Aren't we supposed to be using like blood sausage? Isn't that the original one? Well, yes, blood sausage is the classic um, type of sausage you use. We don't have any. We made paella the other day. I still mm -hmm. had some left. Mm -hmm. And blood sausage doesn't sound good to me. I've never had it. I chickened out, didn't want to use that. So hence, chorizo. Ooh. Now, uh, blood sausage is very popular in Britain, right? Well, we've got blood pudding, maybe blood sausage. And I know that my roommates in college were uh, Puerto Rican. And so we had morcilla, which is the blood sausage. So I got to enjoy it there. I don't know, do the Greeks have blood sausage? They probably do, right? You're the Greek. Hey, we, uh, we pretty much eat every part of the animal, so. <laughs> All right, so what's next? All right, next is to get it cooking. Okay, we're gonna start cooking this. It doesn't take very long. Uh, so I have um, about a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan, and the father could hand me the onion. Onions coming up. Thank you. We're gonna cook these over at a medium low heat until they're tender. A couple minutes. Okay, so as you can see, these look pretty tender. So now I'm going to add the next ingredients. The father will hand them to me. Which ingredients are those? That would be the uh, garlic, parsley, pine nuts, and raisins. So we're just going to throw those in there. I did use uh, fresh parsley that I chopped up, and if you don't have it, uh, you can use dried. We're just going to mix that up here. Do you want more garlic in there? Um, I think it's good the way it is. Uh, I can never have enough garlic. <laughs> and then if you could hand me the chorizo and the chickpeas. Chorizo. Okay. Add that in there like that, please. Thank you. And then the chickpeas. Okay. Do they have to be dry? Because I've heard that sometimes they're better if they're dry or wet. Does it really matter? Well, these are canned because no. they don't take as long to cook. So if you could just put those in there for me. Okay. All right. I'm just going to stir that up. This chorizo I um, sauteed in a pan before I did this, and I got it so that it had we got it to be browned, and then I chopped it up into little pieces. And I think, just turn this up a little bit. What do you got it set on right now? Um, this is a glass top stove. So I have it set on probably about a medium heat. I sure do miss the gas stove that we used to have, but. Oh yeah, that was something nice in, uh, in Germany was having the gas stove. Cooking over fire is always it's always better. Although I seem to remember some, some little pan fire starting here on the glass top stove, if I do remember right. Well, I've set some things on fire in my time. 
All right, well, I think that this looks done. Well, let's see how this came out. Bowl here. I did add some salt and pepper right, uh, to this to season it. If you don't like salt or pepper, uh, you can definitely leave that out. Okay, and keep with that. Careful, that's very hot. Ow, 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 ow. And the final step, if you do the honors, is to add some olive oil, just a drizzle. Just a drizzle of the olive oil. Again, olive oil that we got at the uh, Greek festival last year. All right. Okay. I think it's ready. So, again, this is what? This is garbanzos con andouille. We hope you tried it at home. And if you did, tell us how you liked it. So until our next Kitchen Talk, Christos Anesti to everybody, and to everybody, good, good appetit, and eat well. I'll have Terry take you through all the ingredients. Okay, we've got some onions, it's half an onion, thin slicely. Thinly slicely, not thin slicely. <laughs> thin, 